Alrighty, welcome, welcome, welcome back, guys. Um, it's Ebony here with another video. Today we have my father. Say hey. Hey. Today we have my father for our episode of Bottles and Bonnets. You see, we got on our matching bonnets, our purple bonnets. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So let's just get into it. First and first, first things first. Happy, happy, happy Father's Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. Always a pleasure to hear it from you each year. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so you have officially been a father for what, about 28 years now. How does it um, feel? 28 years of having a child. I feel awesome and blessed to have created something as positive as you. I look at you and I see nothing but greatness, nothing but greatness. And I know everybody said this about their child, but I truly am grateful for you. And I'm proud of what you are doing and growing continuously. So please, please, please never stop doing your do. Yes, sir. I will do my best, my darndest. Um, awesome. Okay. So what are we here to talk about? We are here to talk about our hair journey, but most importantly, your hair journey. So could you walk me down memory lane? So start from as, as young as you remember to now. Tell me about your hair journey because everyone has one. Men, women, boys, girls, everyone. So tell me about yours. Okay, okay. You know, my memory plays with me a little bit, but let's, let's see. As a child, I live with my grandparents. So I got a lot of quick haircuts. So just zip, 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 zip and be done. Cause they ain't got time to be trying to fade and all this type stuff. So, so that's why I ended up starting out with bald heads actually. But in school, you know, everybody picked on me. So I thought bald heads was not a good fit. But if I let my hair grow, I think get about so far, it started falling backwards, creating knots. So instead of me going to school with a knot of head, by all means, cut it off, cut it off. And after a while, I got to uh, 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 start enjoying it because it seemed to be the only thing that would fit my head. But so basically the whole while I stayed bald, every now and then I would try to grow a little hair, but it was not in the cards for me. So then moving on, after I graduated and all that good stuff, I joined the military. Well, actually, I joined before I uh, uh, graduated. And, you know, I had this friend, and he had, I don't want to say they were good hair, because we're going to talk about that later, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But he had that old long hair. His hair would always grow. And it had curly stuff. I'm like, yo, how you get your hair to do all that? I said, my hair won't grow. He said, I bet you I can make your hair grow. Of course, me didn't bleed nothing. So he went and got this box said S curl on it. Uh-uh. I said, well, I said, I see what your hair look like. You can tell me that you can make my hair look like yours. He said, let's, let's see. So he put it in my hair. I promise you, after about a week, my hair started, it would grow to where it usually would get. And then it kept going. I said, uh oh. I said, uh oh, something happening. Is it time to is it time to have a drink? Oh, we we ain't we ain't like that. See, so you want to go solo this time. I saw the one. No, let's... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, next time, next time. <laughs> well, I'm my mouth dry neck and I get a swig. <laughs> Woo! Make sure, make sure you know. Make sure that's you a know. zero. Zero, non-alcoholic. Y'all need to try it. Oh my goodness. My father, we're going to get right back to your story. My father has not had a drink of alcohol since, how long has it been now? It'll be three years, October 31st. Three years, October 31st. I was there with his, for his last drink. <laughs> yes, and we got towed up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. Since they must know, they must, and plus you were of age. And, and now that you said that, I, I, I don't knock anybody that do drink, but I will say I have drunk or been drinking for a long, long time. 
And now that I finally stopped, well, why did you stop? Of course, you know, people have different reasons. It could be bodily harm, or it could be interfering with your household, that type of stuff. But either way, whatever, whatever the reason was, I am so glad that I stopped. Yeah. Do you, do you know how much money I save? Are you kidding? I didn't realize how much money I was spending on alcohol, but I really was getting it in. Really was getting in. And now that I've stopped, I'm 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 really glad I did. I even went to the uh uh AA meetings. I did that. I actually went to the went to my doctor and you know he gave me some it's some kind of pill out there that you got to go to class for and all this that you take it and if you ever drink you'll get sick and you'll get real 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 sick so that'll stop you from drinking oh for sure <laughs> but actually i took them for a couple of days but then i realized i really didn't need them because once i said i was gonna stop i was done so that, that was it yeah that was this i didn't need to take take no more pills i take enough of them as it is yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. So now I just drink non-alcoholic beer. But. I love that. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And even when I go home, you don't even take a drink in. That is, I love it. I love mm. it. And I see you getting it in, but I said, no. I said, I've had mine, so let her enjoy hers. That's why I just, just ride it out. Let everybody make their own choices. We, we all grow. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> We got a little sidetrack, y'all, but I'm very <laughs> proud of my father. Okay, continue. Your hair started growing because you got all this S curl juicy stuff going on. Right, right, right. And like I said, let's get it in. And my boy, so I told you, I told you I can make your hair grow. And that was straight. And I kept it, kept the gel stuff in. And right now, I'm in the army. So, and if you ever, I found that if you ever let it get dry, the only thing you have to do. Just put some water, just splash some water in your hair and do like this. It would curl back up just like I just left the, the beauty shop or some great day. It was amazing. But before I, I had it, I said, okay, I tried. And then it actually got longer. And this is, oh, where was that? I don't know if I was in Fort Lewis or somewhere, but it got to the point where I had finger waves. It was long enough to put finger waves in my head. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm trying to tell you. I had finger waves. You would have thought I was on the five heartbeats. I'm trying to tell you. That shit was laid, laid, laid. You look crazy, I bet. Ooh, you have no idea because they were putting it in there with the, with the uh, man. I'm trying oh. to tell you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said, all right, all right. I was good. I was good. Crazy. Then I had to go to the field. Mm -hmm. You know, being out there, you ain't got access to a whole lot of stuff. And that stuff got dry. Ooh. I said, I've had enough. <laughs> this is not where I'm supposed to be. And I shaved it all off. And this is what you have today. Just a well, hey, this is how I do every day. I uh, 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 I cut it on Sunday before church, and I wear it all week. That's because it don't grow fast at all now. And then come Sunday again, I shave it again. But that's pretty much how the hair went. And now I won't have nothing else, nothing else. But the Lord is trying to help me out with it because I got a little, I got little light spots right here where one little hair growth. My line go all the way back here, but uh, if I that keep it like cow leaks, it's what, yes, yeah, sir. Sound like cow leaks. Boy, it was a whole bunch of cows licking top of my head. I'm trying yeah. to you, they they was hitting me in the top of the head here on the side here. I said, ooh, I said, you know what? I keep it cut. That all look the same. Nope. <laughs> if you look close enough, you can see where the hair don't grow. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but if you that close, you too close. You That's too close. True statement. True statement. Back up, give fifty feet. Oh shoot! Well, yeah. Oh yeah, she told y'all about this bonnet. Yes, indeed. She she got her first uh, crisp twenty dollar bill for me. Where were we up there at your promotion? My promotion. My father was my 
first, my very, very, very first customer. So he has like one of the original bonnets on because I had like a couple of different batches and he mm-hmm. was my first customer. He came in here for my cabbage promotion up in North Dakota and we went out to dinner. Yeah. yeah. And you bought, did you bring the bonnet to dinner? I feel like you brought the I bonnet wore. to dinner. I, I wore it to He dinner. wore the bonnet to dinner. <laughs> that bonnet on his head right now. I, I have pictures. I still have those pictures that you had on this bright yellow, mm-hmm. bright yep. yellow uh, collared um, shirt. Um, uh, 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 great day, you made with the, with the, with the alligator on the crocodile. The, um, good grace, I can't even think right now. Somebody put it in the chat room, tell me what it is. With the dog yeah. alligator on. Not what this is. <laughs> but yes, he looked like he played for the Lakers with all that purple and gold though he had on. And the my actual bonnet matched my little crocodile too. It did. That, it did you know, match. He thought he was, he thought he was too cool. And I, mean, I loved it. So we had a whole little mini photo shoot <laughs> at after dinner. And um, it was great. What made you awesome. like your ball? Why did you buy a bonnet? Because I was here to support my child, and I wanted to be the one to buy your first product. I had to be number one. I know that's bad, but I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to be the one to buy the first. And you didn't get my twenty dollars back either, did you? No, we don't do that. <laughs> See, she she didn't get my twenty dollars back then, but this she gave me this years ago. What it had to been what. Mm. I, was, I was in, I think, middle school. <laughs> First, I wanted to know where she got a hundred off from, but since she gave it to me back then, my wife put it up in this here. This is a, a, a break open if necessary. If necessary. It ain't never going to be necessary. <laughs> it ain't never going to be necessary. Well, I don't know. I might fake the funk one day just so I can get in it and uh, uh, let you know it's gone. Maybe you'll fill it back up for me again. Anyway, <laughs> next question. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So when we talk about hair and you, you grew up in the 90s and now we're in the 2000s and I'm pretty sure like self-image and a lot of things have changed from when you were growing up. How do you mm-hmm. feel as though hair plays in that, like in society norms? Um, let me Let me say it like this. One of the first things that people see is above your shoulders, face, teeth, all that, and what's attached, your hair. So, and plus you can see hair from far off. So you're already making your your ideas or thoughts of what this person's hair look like. And so it plays a big part because like I said, that's a, 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 a big ticket item as they would say. And, your hair can make you have a smile on your face <laughs> or mad at the world. So your hair, if your hair is not right, you're not right. So that's how it plays a part. Cause I know even when mine is not right, ooh, I'm 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 feeling feeling crazy, looking crazy until I can get me some clippers and cut it all off. But yes, it does it, it plays a big part in self-esteem and, and how persons feel. Cause once you get Actually, I've seen it happen once people, once guys go in a uh, barbershop with a rag, rag head and come back out nice, crisp, cut and clean, you can't tell them. And I don't know it's the same way as the beauty parlor, same thing. It is. It's, I don't know, it feels like, like confidence, like right, right. you feel good about yourself because you know you look good, you know your hair is tight, you know, you just know you are it right then and there. Exactly, you do. And you know, when you're sitting there and it's not done, you're like, ooh, child, when am I going to get this stuff worked though? Ooh. So you already know you're looking rough. So it's up to you to either do it yourself or go figure out somebody that will do it for you. But yeah. Exactly. So, question You've Damn. seen me with my mm. many different hair, all my <laughs> hair journeys. Mm. Mm. If you've had a mouthful to say, <laughs> why is that? Like, what? Oh, how do you man. feel about my hair journeys? Oh, your hair journey. After I saw your session with your mother, 
it was very extensive. But me, I I had always seen you with, and I like how y'all use the word last time, good hair. <laughs> yeah, you had a great big long silk. Oh, I was with that. You couldn't have told me my daughter didn't have good hair. Forever. And then one day, I don't know if you had told me you did it or you you uh, 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 um, came to my house with it done or whatever the case may be. You went and you started, I don't know if I'm saying it right, dreading your hair up or whatever it was, locking it. Oh, and I started my locks. Oh, my goodness. Be honest, that was, I thought that was the ugliest thing in this world because I read in my head, because you see, I've seen a lot of people that have the locks and all that, mm -hmm. but evidently some people take care of theirs better than others. Yes. Seem like I've seen, <laughs> most of the people I've seen were not quite <laughs> taking care of things. So across the board, I'm just thinking like, yo, what you gonna do with all that mess? mess? And I told you, I didn't like your hair. When you first asked me, I ah, nope, didn't like it, didn't like you, it. You were and very I, honest. And I wasn't afraid to tell you, but ooh, you had my stomach. Toe up, but then I see you kept. I see you wasn't gonna undo it, and then I forgot. I don't know when exactly it was, but after I, after I realized that you weren't gonna go back, you actually your hair started looking better and looking better. Then I'm like, okay, I said, okay, okay, I I can rock with this. I can rock with this. Then it really started looking good. Then like. Well, it might be looking good. I still wanted up when she had good hair, but anyway. <laughs> I still have good hair. Everybody has good hair. That is just the term used. It's a, it's a derogatory term, if you ask me. It is. It is. I'm sorry. But yes, everybody's hair is their hair. It's, it's up to you what you do with it. It is. Got them. Taisha got them. That's my sister, y'all. She got her some, too. Mm -hmm. We gonna get them baby some next. Ooh, she can what? I said we're gonna get them baby son next. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I saw him and talked to him the other day. One yeah. day I said, I said, girl, why you don't get that baby hair done? Two days later he came back because I told her that I said that boy hair looked rough. Nappy, all that man. And I got a partner that lived down the street from that do the haircuts. So I guess she heard because next time she put him on the phone, which another day, two days, his stuff was done. I said, now we shouldn't even have to do all that. But in a way, in a way, <laughs> but look, that's a whole, that's a whole nother subject for another, another video. My fact, that's what you need to do. You need to do your sister on her birthday. I, I am. I'm going to make sure I set that up with her. She has, she, she, yeah, she has a long journey. She, she has had a lot because she done cut her locks off. Now she got them again. She, she. I am. Half, That's a good idea. One half right yellow, there. one half pink. I'm like, and I <laughs> wish I could do stuff like that. I am afraid to dye my hair, but I wish I could do stuff like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. One is enough. <laughs> one okay. channel is enough with all that. <laughs> but go for it. Go for it. I think, like I said, I didn't think that I would ever like it. But I really did start liking your hair. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm scared to ask you to take that bonnet off today because I don't know if you all uh, done anything with it today. But <laughs> all right, guys, and that is where we're going to end this video. Um, thank you so much for thank you all for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. If you've been here before, I hope you bought a friend. Um, yeah, I will not be taking this bonnet off because I need to do my hair. But that's that'll be for another day. But <laughs> you guys be safe out there, and I hope you have a blessed week. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>